already know what it is, Meng. We out here in Japan. So this week I am doing my week three update. So after I finished filming last week's video, I was at Mishima Station. So where I was staying was Toyoko Inn, which is on one side of the station. On the other side of the station is a famous park called Rakujuen Park. So I went sightseeing there that afternoon and I got lucky because that was actually June 19th. So it was a Sunday and they were doing like a local matsuri there. I tried to look up information about it online, but there wasn't anything. So I don't think it was like a big famous matsuri. It was like a local thing, but there was like, you know, young people doing performances, singing, dancing, cheerleading, all kinds of stuff. So that was really fun. After that, I took the Shinkansen down to Osaka where I stayed for this whole week. So this week's update will be Osaka. So I got in to the hospital I was staying at at night on the 19th so Sunday night and I met a couple people who are working there Yuki and Josh shout out to them they actually just left so I'm sad so this video is dedicated to them but yeah they were the first two people that I met so Yuki is a Japanese girl and Josh is from England so the hostel was really nice I met you know just the staff that day and some of the other guests that were staying there so that night because it was a Sunday night not really a lot of people were going out I was expecting to maybe go out that night but I had a nice little rest night and then the next morning I got up and familiarized myself with the hostel and like the area around there a little bit more so that first night that I was there I had a kombini dinner as you know I always do I ate in this really cute little park and I noticed this is the first time I noticed it but since then I've noticed a lot more but a lot of times like Japanese older guys will come and play their instruments in the park so it was really fun that first night there was a guy playing saxophone and since then I've heard people play like trumpet and clarinet and even recorder so that's like one of my new favorite things is just like going to the park and listening to these like OG sons play instruments so that was fun so then Monday was just familiarizing myself with the area and the other people staying at the hostel it's like kind of rainy season right now so I wasn't doing a ton of exploring it was really really hot and humid so I just tried to stay in the air conditioning as much as possible and get to know some of the other people at the hostel but Tuesday is taco Tuesday at this specific bar that a lot of the hostel guests and staff like to go to so Tuesday was really fun we went to Nipponbashi and we went and got tacos at this American owned bar it's called Cherry Bomb it's really good it's kind of small but yeah the tacos I think how much are the tacos I forget but yeah I got a couple tacos and they have 200 yen tequila shots as well and I learned I don't know if everywhere in Japan because I've been talking to different people and I've been hearing different things but at this place they do orange with cinnamon on top instead of lime and salt so tequila shots were with orange and cinnamon and it was so good but yeah I was talking to someone else and they said all of the shots tequila shots they've had in Japan have been lemon chaser so I don't know but I liked the orange a lot on Wednesday it was not raining anymore so I decided to go exploring a little bit I went to Tsurumi Park Tsurumi Ryokuchi Koen is technically the real name I guess I took the train and yeah right when you get out of the station you can kind of walk to the park and this park is famous for this windmill it kind of looks like a fairy tale and I guess different parts of the year they have different flowers right now they have this red flower I don't even know what kind of flower it is but it was really really beautiful and the rest of the park has like international gardens of all different kinds it wasn't crowded at all there was another oji san playing an instrument I think this day was the recorder it was not crowded at all on a Wednesday afternoon evening so I kind of watched a sunset from there because the park is higher elevation there's a little mountain they call it but it's like a higher elevation spot that you can climb up to and you can see different sides of the city so the sunset is pretty nice to be watched from there I really in particular liked the Korean garden as part of the international gardens and there's a bunch of other really cool ones I think if maybe not for coronavirus maybe there would be like the fountains would be full of water and stuff but I think 
it's not crowded and they don't have like all the full exhibits going on if that makes sense because of covid but yeah also towards that mountainy part there was like a little sunflower field which was really cute so the owner of cherry bomb actually owns another bar called tnt which is in taisho i was pretty well i wasn't close to taisho but um, the train that goes from Tsurumi Ryokuchi Koen, it goes straight to Taisho. So I went to go eat there for dinner and get drinks. So TNT is like a craft beer place and they also have pizzas and some other snacks and food like grilled cheese and stuff. It's like American. Um, they also have like a little stage and that day there was a rock band playing and it was so cool. Like they did rock covers of Toxic by Britney Spears and like some Disney Disney songs as well. I forget what it's called, but The Jungle Book, I Wanna Be Like You maybe. And then there was the Ursula song from The Little Mermaid. There was just so many really good covers that night. So that was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Okay, so that night after TNT, this was the first day that I missed the last train. So Josh came to meet me at TNT and we went to go eat ramen. And usually the last train is about at midnight, but we didn't like set a timer or anything. So we were eating ramen and we missed the last train as one does pretty frequently in Japan and a lot of times like in Osaka especially people just like stay out all night and then you wait until the first train the next morning which is around like five ish but this day we decided to walk back so we had like an hour walk and it was so hot but yeah that was always a good experience missing the last train always interesting things the next morning I went and had lunch with Josh he's like king of knowing where to eat really cheaply so one place was inside the station so we had to swipe in so normally when you use like IC cards is what they're called the Osaka one is called Ikoka but Tokyo's is Suika so they use like these IC cards which are like refillable cards that you can use to swipe in and out of trains or also buy stuff at the convenience store or just pay for various things around Japan. So normally when you swipe in at one station you can't swipe out at that station because I guess I don't really know why it is but yeah I guess they want to keep track of like where you're going in and out of and you're not supposed to go in and out of the same station but we had to do that to get this lunch but it was really cheap it was one of those vending machine places and we got like cold soba and cold udon which i never had cold udon and it was so good after that we went to the kombini again classic kombini life we got this pineapple pikachu slushy which is it's like all the rage at the kombinis right now in japan so it's like a special edition i think it's like 700 yen which is pretty expensive honestly for what it is but it's like a frap is what they call it but you kind of get it and you squish it up to like loosen the ice and then you put it in this machine and it fills it with milk I think you mix it up and then it's like a pineapple frap so honestly like kind of good I mean it is like sour refreshing pineapple-y but definitely not worth 700 yen you're definitely paying for the Pikachu product advertisement but I'm glad I got it that afternoon I went to Osaka Castle to go watch the sunset Osaka Castle is one of my favorite places in Osaka it just has a lot of nostalgia for me because the first time I was in Osaka um, there was like a dumpling festival or something but good memories around Osaka Castle I think I've also stayed up for the first train around that area so it's just really scenic the whole park is really beautiful and and especially right around sunset usually there's like so there's kind of like two moats like protecting the castle so depending where you are you can see the sunset over the water and the buildings and it's really nice and because the castle itself is raised up above it's like higher elevation so you can kind of see the sunset over the city as well so the next morning I was kind of hanging out with some of the other hostel guests, having coffee, and then later that afternoon, I went down to Shinsai Bashi, which is another famous area. There is a tower called Sutenkaku Tower, and this area has a lot of the famous, like, lit up little restaurants and stuff, like conveyor belt sushi, and they have a bunch of this statue of this, like, god, Kamisama, that is called 
bilaken. So they have a bunch of those. And then we were going to eat kushikatsu, which is a famous dish in Osaka. It's really cheap, but basically you skewer foods and they deep fry them with batter. The other two really popular Osaka foods are takoyaki and okonomiyaki. So we went to kushikatsu daruma, which they became famous, I guess, because they banned double dipping in the sauce. So usually kushikatsu, you can fry all kinds of things, pretty much anything actually, I think. But yeah, you're not supposed to double dip into the sauce. So I guess they became popular because of that. Another specialty at Daruma Kushikatsu is dote yaki, which was so good. That was like 10 out of 10. It is a local Osaka food as well, and it's made by stewing beef tendons and konyak, which is yam cake in special miso. So I really liked that. Oh, one of the really good ones was a kushikatsu made out of mozzarella cheese. So the cheese would just like, it's like, a mozzarella stick, but it's on a, it's on a stick. Okay, so the next day was Sunday. It's the last day of this week, and I was working at a little pop-up cafe shop, so learning how to drip coffee and stuff like that. It was really fun. This was in Minami Horie, which is an area that is famous for kind of like their thrift shops and like fashion and the pop-up that I was in was like a pop-up for fashionable kids clothing, which was really interesting. So after that day, I went with a bunch of the hostel staff and guests to Kobe actually. So we took the train, which was about 45 minutes and there was a drag show that one of the mutual friends had someone performing in the drag show. So it was so much fun. You know, they gave little pride flags away and the place was like absolutely packed it was i think even for the people who put on the performance they were like we were not expecting it to be as packed as it was and it was really cool because i ran into another youtuber who i've been following for like literally two years and we follow each other on instagram and stuff and i saw him in the crowd because he's really tall so i was like oh my gosh i went to go talk to him and that was like a really fun kind of weird coincidence running into him like that <laughs> So yeah, we just made it back in time for the last train. So all of us caught the last train back to Osaka, but all of us took different trains back. So there's like the JR line, the Hanshin line, all these different lines that all go back to different stations in Osaka. And then because Josh was leaving soon, we were like, okay, we all have to kind of meet up this night to have like a last hurrah for Josh. So we were planning to go meet up at Osaka Umeda station. And we kind of chilled outside in front of this kombini for like an hour or two after the last train. So now it's like almost two in the morning and I was so hungry that I just had to go and get the kombini food. And then by the time I ate, I was like, I'm so tired. I don't think I can, I don't think I can hang anymore. And then they all went out for the rest of the night. They stayed up until the first train. But yeah, I called it a night at that time. So yeah, that wasn't really my last hurrah with Josh. I will update you in the next video though about my real last hurrah with Josh. But yeah, Josh is now gone, so shout out to him. He was my boy, my day one. But yeah, that is it for this video today. It was kind of a faster update just because Osaka, it was so, like literally just so humid and rainy and hot that I really didn't do as much as usual. I stayed a lot in the air conditioning. And because I'm staying in Osaka for a longer period of time, it was more like I wanted to invest my time in getting to know like other people versus the first two weeks was a lot of solo travel and like sightseeing. So I'll have all of the next year to explore Osaka and show you guys really cool sights and stuff. So if there's anything you do want to see in future videos, let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to do that. And I'm actually in Okinawa right now. So updates on that will be in next week's video. So I will see you in my next video. I hope you're having a wonderful morning 
morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye.